Hola amigos, today I'm going to show you how to take apart Samsung Galaxy S6 Active. The problem with this phone, it doesn't turn on at all. I don't know what's the reason, it may be the charging port, it may be the battery, it may be the LCD. So once I open the phone, I will uh, figure it out. So let's start. First thing we need to heat the screen. Heat it like three to five minutes with the heat gun and make sure don't burn the LCD because uh, this kind of plastic it may melt so once you see like it's it's hot enough just stop I'm gonna use this heat gun For that I will uh, I will need this uh, these tools here like this plastic to pry the tools uh, I mean to pry the screen up and the pry tools and the ice ammo so I'm just gonna put them away for the moment Make sure don't burn the LCD because if you heat it too much, it may be burned. So I'm going to show you something here. Look in this corner, right here. You see, like it start like showing some discoloration. You see it. So that means the the screen has got uh, hot too much. So always make sure don't hit the screen too much. So you just use the plastic and try to insert it here between the frame and uh, the LCD and just slide it gently and make sure you use the plastic don't use any other tools like the metal tools this may like uh, break the screen I'm gonna use the IC SAMU just to make small gap here to insert to insert the plastic. Always make sure the, the IC SAMU is like 90 degree. Don't like keep like wiggling this way. You may break the LCD. Again, don't don't pray here. Just make a small gap where you can insert the plastic. All right. So I insert the plastic here and just slide it underneath and uh, work it through the through the edges. And here you go. Green is released and look look here if you keep like sliding the plastic in this part here you may cut off this cable right here or you may cut off this cable from this side or from this side so make sure don't slide this, uh, this plastic tool on the top part start from the bottom so now I will just disconnect actually on the Galaxy S6 uh, active this cable here is connected to the motherboard and it has like a small plastic clip holding it on the top is it missing here which means that this phone is opened before all right so here is the screen is released and after that we can access to the screws in the bottom 
I mean we can open the screws and we can remove this part to reach the motherboard. So let's go ahead and open the screws. By the way, for the for the screws, I'm using the Phillips uh, using the Phillips screwdriver right here. And the good thing on Samsung, they have all the screws the same. Almost like all of them are the same. Sometimes one screw is short. Sometimes one screw is black. But usually the short screw or the black one is on the motherboard, not on the frame. This is the bottom case, back, menu and home. It's just small plastic. And underneath you have the buttons here By the way, this phone is not working because it's water damaged. If you see here, we have a lot of sign of water damage. And also here, there is a cable inside here. I'm going to disconnect this cable. And if you see, you see the corrosion and the rust because of the water damage. Uh, and uh, this phone is supposed to be like waterproof but maybe because the screen is replaced before that's why it got water damaged I mean messed up by water all right I take all the screws off from here I don't see any screw left here and I'm just gonna use this tool I demo and slide it by the way at the, at the beginning we have like two sl two sides to answer the this uh, ic somewhere between the first one is between the glass the lcd and the frame and there is another middle frame here which is uh, which i'm uh, lifting up right now taking the same card tray off Make sure when you answer this one, don't answer it all the way in because there are a lot of components on the motherboard. You may miss up something here. I mean, in this part. So just try to use it on the edges. And we can also use this plastic tool. Which is very useful in these kind of situations.
so actually I was uh, making a mistake I have to I have to open it from inside not from between the frames right here I'm sorry guys because this is the maybe like the third time I opened this phone and I don't remember it was a long time ago that I opened the first time so there is like between the frame right here and there is another between the frame right here alright so I took this this part, this middle part, it has battery on it from this side. And it's like really messed up with the water. If you see right here. So this is the motherboard. It's messed up also. see it clearly so this phone I'm gonna do the water damage treatment on it it's gonna take a long time and uh, please uh, for the water damage treatment please watch the part 2 of this video thanks for watching if you have any questions leave your uh, comments and they will answer them when I get chance